Lord Tess, wake up. The Chosen One. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Otis, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Look, Otis, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Sounds like I don't have much of a choice, huh, bro? Though you open the door in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the Temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this Chamber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the Sages remains. When the power of all the Sages is awakened, the Sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the Void of the Realm. I, Raru, am one of those Sages, and your power to fight together with the Sages makes you the Hero of Time. The Hero of Time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages, of the other sages, and add their might to your own. You receive the Light Medallion. Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. What this? We're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. You forgot how to use a boomerang and slingshot. Who knew? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside the goddess of the sand, Giggity. 
Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed on my, by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, who knew, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing here, holding the mythical master's sword, you really do look like the hero of time, of legend. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. <laughs> Loser. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to do that. Actually, you can stay here, and um, I guess that's fine. Never forget seeing that um, back when the game was new on Nintendo 64. That cloud was like the epitome of what this system could do. Alright, first things first. Let's head on over to Kakariko Village, as Sheik said. Uh, we need the hook shot out of the graveyard, so we'll do that first, and then we'll head on over to Lon Lon Ranch, and we'll get our, uh, our horsey friend. Bear with me one sec, folks. I'm going to uh, switch my controller. I was getting annoying. Uh, graveyard. Actually, before we do that, let's go ruin this guy's day. What's up, bro? He's like, Grr. I'll never forget what happened on that day seven years ago, goddammit. It's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he come around here, I'm gonna mess him up. What? You've got an Ocarina? What the hell? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill something awful. About three and a half hours in, which is wonderful. I love playing this game. 
But uh, I do want to take this opportunity to remind everyone that this uh, stream has been brought to you by Ladder Safety. So, uh, there's that. Alright, so now that we got the song, we can head on over to uh, Dompe's grave, which definitely kind of sucks. He was cool. Be careful on the ladder. Yeah, for sure. Got you. Okay. Oh, Dompe! Why'd you have to die? You were too young, bro. The good news is I just have to get to the end. I don't have to do this quickly, so. <laughs> and I'll very likely be finishing. Well, I won't finish it, but I'll get a lot more done on the stream probably next Wednesday. This upcoming Wednesday. Hey, I'm only two seconds behind. Not bad. Well, there goes that. I'm now six seconds behind. Probably end at 108. Time of this race was 108. Young man, you were quick to be able to keep up with my dead ass. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. It's a spring-loaded chain thingamajigger that'll pull you in any spot where its hook sticks. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you. I live here now, because I'm dead. So come back anytime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. Eh, bitch. Alright, so we got ourselves the hook shot. Let's go get ourselves our horsey friend. Hook shot. Whoops. See, you'd think after seeing me again, he'd want to chase me out the door, but whatever. Alright, so now that we got our hook shot, let's head over to Lon Lon Ranch. Where we hope to win back our horsey friend. Our trusty steed, if you will.
That sky just looks menacing. And again, I probably only had like four seconds until the sun went down. Some people saying I... There are some people in Kakariko Village spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy was weak. I, the hardworking Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Now, listen. The great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents because I'm the greatest and gave the ranch to me. I'll raise a fine horse and I'll win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Sounds like a bunch of butt kissing to me. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. I'll ride. Do you want to hear how to ride? No, I don't. Alright, so I just gotta win back my 10 rupees and then I'm just gonna quit. And this run will be a two-parter, so if you're new here, drop a follow so you can uh, get a notification on when we're going to finish this run up. Alright, so we got five rupees back. Ten rupees. We can quit already. Yeah! Dismount, blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm done. So we'll uh, we'll go again. Get my ten rupees back, and uh, we'll race for a horse. Now the first race that is super easy. The second one, second one, I'm not so confident in. So, second burst, same as the first. We'll get our 10 rupees back and then we'll talk to Ingo. He'll challenge us to a race and, uh. Right, there's five there. He's not. Oh, I'm surprised he jumped that. That gives me four full attempts, should I need them all. But again, besides, uh, assuming I don't get eaten by a like, like, I'll never need more than 200 rupees, so. Definitely can't take a drink now. Yeah, he gives me one good opportunity to pass him. That's right. No, he's coming out. It's on this turn right here. Yep. Get him! Yo, I have gotten caught up on that, um... On, on that gate there and fucking lost the race. If the great Ganador found out about this here humiliation... Hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the fucking horse. Yeah, wish me luck, y'all, because this shit is not easy. Oh, you bitch. I'm trying to tempt all Odith now. Go! Go, baby! Go! Go! Yes! Let's get it! We got a horse for 50 rupees! What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was gonna present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. 
As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. <sighs> Silly Ingo. Oh, I was like, what the hell? It wouldn't let me run. Thank you, baby. Yeah, horse butt. Alright, so now that we got Epona, we can start the bigger on sword process. Which is crucial for this run. Where I don't got a lot of D, I'm gonna need a big O, if you know what I'm saying. Definitely gotta go with more offense. And one of the most important things when it comes to the big run process, always back your horse into the spot. No, no. Uh, I said back in! Fucking horse has a mind of its own. Alright. No, I don't want to check. I want to get down. That's what she said. Oops. Hold on. Hold on. Definitely making good time three and a half hours in and we're starting the bigger on process. Definitely a much faster run than last time. I think I got 12 hours on my last run. I'd like to break 10. 10's not happening. 10 on a three hard run? Not happening. Uh, big run. I gotta get the bigger on sword. It is gonna be helpful if I upgrade my um, quiver to the 40 arrows. I brought a new type of miniature cuckoo. I don't know the pronunciation on that, I'm gonna be honest. I've heard cuckoo and cuckoo. Yo, Caleb! Long time no see, bro! I'm glad you dropped in. We're doing a three heart ocarina run. Long time no see, bro. And God. God forgive me if I got your name wrong. Cougars are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes um Let's fucking go. Also you remember my name, bro. Appreciate that. Yo hey man, I, I had a lot of fun doing the uh, ages run, so Been all right. How about yourself? Here, yeah, take this egg. And when it hatches, bring it back to me. Blah 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 blah. I really didn't read it. I'll be honest. You borrowed a pocket egg. A pocket cuckoo will hatch from this, and uh, it'll wake a lazy sleeper or something. All right. Uh. Wait. No. I want to go in first. Busy, haven't been able to be on as much, but I've been missing your broadcast. Yeah, bro, I, I wasn't off for a little while neither. I actually got um, super close to finishing the uh, Oracle of Ages run, but I I just kept getting my ass kicked on the very last boss. So I'm I'm at a crossroads of do I do I continue getting my ass kicked and hope for the best, or do I start another run and Get a better sword. 
Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. Three hearts on that final boss would be insane, dude. It took a long ass time with like 15 hearts. See, my only issue with that boss on that game is you have to use the mystery seeds. If they gave you more mystery seeds while you're fighting, um, not Nehru, fucking Baron, when you're fighting her first form, um, if they gave you more mystery seeds, it wouldn't be an issue, but I didn't get that upgrade either. Oh, shit, it is three separate bosses. Oh, yeah, hell no. I gotta start that run over, bro. There's no way. See, I only got to the second form, and I honestly got really close, um, on the first, on my first try doing that boss. I almost beat her second form, and I was like, yo, bro, if I beat it and I get to the third form, like, I'm, I'm gonna be a grown-ass man crying on stream, because there's no fucking way. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to start that run over from scratch. Alright, so, what are we... Oh, we woke home, boy, so now we can give the chicken back. Oh shit, I never woke him. I got too busy talking. Yeah, it is. It is definitely up there, in my opinion. All right, so if I if I woke him, yeah, definitely up there for one of the hardest all the games. But yeah, I I need a better sword if I'm gonna be beating three. Oh, I gotta show it to her. If I'm going to be three separate bosses, I'm going to I'm going to definitely need a better sword and more uh, mystery seeds. You're a very good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare valuable one if you're interested. Its name is Kohiro. It used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since my brother is gone, it's strange but Kohiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep Kohiro? See, si, you'll see. You return the pocket cuckoo and got Kohiro in return. Go wake up his drug addict friggin' what's his face? I don't know, he's on something. Alright, so now that we got that, we're gonna make our way to uh, the forest. Be honest, would you smoke in Kakariko Village given the chance? What you mean, smoke? Let's run. Alright, let me. Near my bearings. All right, I gotta bring Kohiro back. So we're gonna head to the forest. I gotta back my horse in. Bro, I smoke anyway. You know that. Yeah, I do. I'm just smoking all the time. Bro, I can't drive my horse. Alright, and once again, very important. Always back your horse into the spot. two things while I'm here actually I'm gonna go get the uh, minuet of forest since I'm in the area and that way when I'm ready to start the forest temple I can just hop right back all right I'll left first Yeah, 
Yo, not even not not so much Lake Hylia, but the fishing spot. That would be the spot. Kohiro, why? Only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you, you sir, must be a nice guy. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. And this is why you back your horse in. Alright, so we got three minutes to make it back, so actually I'm gonna forget about getting the menu out of forest, because I simply don't have the time. This NPC always freaked me out. Yeah, he's on some kind of some kind of something. I would just say no to whatever he has. He tweaking. I don't know, man. He did give me a mushroom to go give to some lady to make into some powder, so... Y'all y'all can do with that information what y'all want. Of the magic beans. Nah, we got we got homeboy uh down in Lake Highly a munching on those. And actually sp speaking of Lake Hylia, I think my uh favorite rendition of Lake Hylia is probably the Twilight Princess version. You wanna talk about uh cool and serene? Dude, I don't want to read the fucking sign. I just want to drop my horse off. Yeah, I had, I had a, a lot of fun with Twilight Princess. I don't know if I have a uh, I don't know if I have a copy of it to 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 do the run. I'd probably have to play it for the Wii. Which that would be interesting. Raven, let me borrow you with you, bro. That game is underrated. Oh, so underrated. Oh, I gotta I gotta go do the thing. No, it's up here. <coughs> I gotta pay attention on this shit, because the last time I did this game a week ago, just a regular relax run. And just about everything that I did on this. I was down to like the last five seconds. Like absolute nail biters. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What mysterious smell? Bee nut? Ha! <laughs> you must have something. Yes, I do. I have something for you. That bum, he had to go into the forest. Alright, so she's gonna take the mushroom. We're gonna turn it into mushroom powder. That lady creepy, but her vibes is kinda dope. Yeah, I mean, they, she, she, she about that hippie life. You know? She just wanna hit up a, you know, one of them uh, fish concerts or whatever, and, you know, just do the hippie thing. They say there is no cure. I'm sorry. They say there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I had to. I had to. That's that's my one and only. That's that's it. No more. All right. So we have our medicine. Now we can head on back to the forest and go uh, deliver that to the tweaker. No hippie fish concert. <laughs> it's like Burning Man, bro. Honestly, I have no idea if those two things are even remotely related. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I am. Come on. Yo, Foxy! Thanks for the lurk! 
Um, what the hell am I doing? Oh. So we're gonna head back to the forest, as I can't seem to remember. She's gonna try to talk to you about a spiritual awakening. Oh, hell yeah. It's gonna be her, me, and Aaron Rodgers doing ayahuasca together. <laughs> and fucking vomit buckets everywhere. medicine so we can get the um, poacher saw another spot I really like in this other series is the observatory in Majora's Mask yeah yeah that was a good spot I, again another another severely underrated game I loved Majora's Mask that guy isn't here anymore anybody who comes into the forest will be lost everybody will become Stalfos Everybody, Stalfos. So, he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. That's kind of creepy. Like, Tweaker was there. Come back. There's some weird kid talking weird. I don't know. Just take the mushrooms and give me what I need so I get the hell out of here, please. That young punk must have left this behind. And then she asks if I'm going to be also... Well, I fucking hope not. Actually, this will be the time I can go get the menu out of Forest. So I'm going to take a quick detour and do that. And then we'll continue the... Oh! We'll continue the uh, bigger on adventures. Answering to Mito like he matters. Fuck out of here, bro. That melody. Saria plays that song all the time. In fact, it's playing now. Do you know her? Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, man, I trust you. He said, okay, I believe you. So, when I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. All right, bro, I'm gonna go drop any lime. And, uh... We're gonna keep going. And then I think it ends left, right. I definitely got to be careful here. I definitely expected that wolf to be there. Uh, from here on out, we'll be going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use the targeting to fuck people up. Stuff, things. Basically, check down a corridor before you get impaled by some dude's spear. <laughs> Once your view is set, hold down Z to sidestep around the corner. Blah, 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 blah. Help! Got him! Yeah, they're a lot more scary when I don't have the hearts. I hit you in the net. Got him. He's nut. Only want to go through this one time, so. Hi. 
Wait, hold on. I don't even think I have to bother with him. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm just thankful that they're fucking blind. Sheik. Time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the minuet of Forest. Tess, I'll see you again. Bear with me one second. Just checking to see if my boy Craven's on. Yeah, he is. We're going to give him a view. We're going to give our boy Craven a view. One second, let me make sure I can have him up. Alright, cool. So now that we land the menu out of force, we can um we can head back. I was way too close to him to be. Alright, this is actually a portion of the game where I would like three fairies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drink my milky milk. Get another fairy. And actually, I can do the old. Where am I going from here? Nah, this is gonna be faster. If I'm an adult and I save and reset it, I'll go to the uh, Temple of Time. If I'm a kid, I'll go back to Kikari Forest. Alright, so we can get right out of the Lost Woods. Because now we got to go to uh, Gerudo Valley to return the Poacher Saw. And with that, we'll actually be about halfway through the Big Run process.
wrong place. What you mean, whoops? <laughs> oh, whoops me. Got it. Got Alright, yep. No, I'm supposed to be going to Gerudo Valley, and from Gerudo Valley, then I gotta go to Kakariko Village. And this, this is gonna get all the bullshit out of the way. Right after becoming an adult, that's when I usually grab my Vigoron sword, um, the hog shot, obviously. You set yourself up for the Eye of Truth. Get the, um... Get both the tunics. Looks like that item doesn't work here, but now it does. He said that saw is mine, but I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Yo, if we think about it, that mystery. Hold on, let's take a time out real quick. Let's put that mystery together for one second. So, homeboy goes into the forest. Now, the blue tweaker guy. So he goes into the forest, all right, and he, he wants us to get mushrooms, and then we come back, and there's a girl that's all talking creepy shit, and then we return the saw that we get from her, and he thought he left the saw with the old lady. I don't know what's going on between the tweaker and the old lady, but it don't sound good. I think he need to go home and ask some questions. Will you give me my saw? Yes. Just go home and take care of that, please. So that gives us the uh, bigger arm sword. Come on. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's Fortress to become thieves. <laughs> they tried to join an all-women's club. Alright, so we're just going to back the hell out of here. And now we're going to go up Death Mountain. On the way, we can grab the... Red Tunic. We'll grab the red tunic and the bolero of fire. I just think it's an easier way to play the game because you it just gets you set up for all the tempos because as I'm going through the motions to get the bigger on sword, like I'm going to go up Death Mountain, so I might as well stop in and get the, um, get the bolero of fire so I can hop right back to the fire temple when I'm ready. And then when I gotta unfreeze King Zora, um, I gotta go into the ice cavern, so I might as well take care of that. Just makes more sense. Alright, so now we're just gonna go back to Kakariko Village. Carrots. Always back the horse. Eh.
Definitely appreciate everyone sticking around, all the lurkers, ones checking in every once in a while. Appreciate you. Make a fun activity even more fun. Getting our ass kicked by a damn tech type. But uh, right now we're bringing the broken Goron uh, tool, I guess. Uh, taking it to Bigger on to just finish that uh, whole process. And then before we head down, we're going to pop in and uh, start the Fire Temple stuff. Yo, my man's my man need that visine, you know? Yeah, big on sword is crucial for a three heart run. I mean, you know, they're not impossible, but it makes it a lot easier. Like, I mean the the real boss of this game is Phantom Ganon. If I can get by him, I think I'll be all right. I don't care what anyone says. Phantom Ganon is the hardest boss in this game. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Help! Since we haven't done it in a while, we'll save it. Didn't even want to waste the bombs. You punk ass. Got him. What? This is bullshit. I demand we turn the tape back. Look at that again. I definitely got him. Oh, 
I'm inside of bombs, y'all. It should not be this hard. Got him. Jesus. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant, hear my name and tremble. I am Otis! Ugh, oh, what a pain in the ass that was. You must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero. Yeah, that's me! It sounds good, so that's me! Dad named me after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I like it. You're a hero to us. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Otis of the Gorons. Yeah, definitely not a good time, bro. Like, do you see what's going on with you people? I'm trying to get an autograph from me. What's the matter with you? If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. You'd better try to calm him down. We'll ask him about the dragon. Long ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living on this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, bitch, destroyed it just like that. It's a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of that hero. about the Gorons now. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Gendo's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has survived Volvagia and as a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to save everyone. Please help. Ganon a fiend. Yeah, bro. He, he's savage. Alright, nice. So we got the Gorn tunic. Let's go get the Bolero fire real quick. And then we'll uh, continue doing the bigger on process. He feeding the motherfuckers. That's wild. Yeah. Straight savage. Like, I'm going to revive a dragon just to feed you guys to him. Like, damn. All right. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll be fine. Those older games way darker than the new ones. Arguably, uh, before Twilight Princess, I think Majora's Mask is one of the darker ones. Is something that grows over time a true friendship a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time the passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power and through it you will know which way to go this song is dedicated to the power of the heart listen to the bolero of fire Last music with the lava and shit rumbling in the background. I know, right? Just the screams of the people who fell in. No problem. You have learned the bolero of fire. 
With this, I will see you again. doing this until well I'm ready for it like I said as long as I don't do anything stupid and get eaten by a life like I shouldn't need that the bigger wallet Tunic. Uh, we have the. Yep. We have the prescription, so now we can head down to Zora's domain. On the last few steps of the big on trade, so get mixed up in the directions of this game. Now, if you're going to get mixed up in the directions of any game, it's those of us who have played both um, the Wii and GameCube versions of Twilight Princess. That's getting mixed up in the directions. I just had too much Wheaties tonight, so I can't keep, I can't keep it straight. Compared to this one, yeah, it is a, it's a much bigger game. Almost there. You know, I guess I could have figured out that secret passageway shit. Because I'm sure I could have just went from Goron City to those other two places and saved a whole hell of a lot of time. But we're going to do, do what I know for, for this one. Okay, 
fucking dark out. Yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah. So I do have to... I'm gonna play it safe, and I'm only gonna let one of my fairies out. This game just brings back so many positive, nostalgic memories. Hey, let's not get fucking killed by that thing, okay? Alright, so the biggest threat in the ice cavern right now is... I would have to say is... Everything. <laughs> Uh, but no, these guys, and more so the, uh, fire keys. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, bitch, bitch. the bottle anyway. Might as well do it on something I needed. Donde estas cabron? Alright, I uh... No, I think I'm good. There's only a few parts of uh, this run that really make me nervous, and it's... The blue fire room in this in this level is definitely one of them. That an insult to injury. And I can't express enough how much I really like doing the three heart runs. All I have to worry about is three hearts. That was dumb, that was dumb, that was dumb. This room. This is the one that terrifies me. And that's why. Heart! Fucking just dive right off that thing. room again. I'm taking a food break. Yeah, the cavern has begun, bro. This is, this one makes me nervous. I was gonna err on the side of caution, but 
I think I'm gonna go the speed route. And I'm gonna bring two fires with me and only one fairy. Get me the fuck out of here. Bruh! I was like, Jesus Christ, where's the fucking door? This is the other room. And I'm gonna be real patient as I wait for these goddamn bats. Look at them all coming at once! At least I got two of them. How about I don't bother you, you don't bother me. No, I gotta go kill it. I, I can't have that thing. Sorry, I, I can't have you existing. Hey. Like you existing, that's, that's hazardous to my health. Fuck this up. Let's start over. Grab two flames here. One to get to the end, and the other one is for King Zora. And then after we do that, we'll have basically gotten all the little shit done to get into the next three temples. So, it's just getting all the bullshit out the way. That way, the next stream is going to be just fucking... Smashing through those temples. Huh? <laughs> 
Bitch! Hey, hold on, I'm gonna grab a charger while... While we're talking old sheep. Tough shit, cause they're all fucking dead. Well, that's definitely not the one I should have unplugged. Yeah. Unless you shut off the source, the ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the source, I will teach you the melody that leads to the water temple. Time passes, people move, like a river's flow, it never ends. So I'm I had to make sure I got a, got the next controller charge. Jesus Christ. Killing my second one. So with that, we can just get right the hell out of here and not that way we don't. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this place is really cool. Yeah, so we're literally setting us up to on the next stream to just hit the, um, like three or four, maybe even five temples, depending on, we'll do all the friggin' temples. Um, yeah, and then we'll just leave. Vibes go hard, yeah. I'm surprised I made it that whole way without getting hit. this we can continue our bigger on sword process oh god I hope I hit him there was a couple of times where I miss him with the fire so first we'll get the um, tunic from him I 
It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. You know, seeing as how you don't have gills. Take this tunic so you don't drown. Alright, so now... Give him the old... Give him the old script. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the late laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But if you need to deliver them fresh, can you make, oh, can you make them before they spoil? All right, so we have to get the hell out of here. Whoops! That's not fucking saving any time. Now, if I did this right, Epona should be in the perfect spot for me to just squirt on down to Lake Hylia. But I really think I'm better off just running not trying to do any cute shit because my last run both this and the next thing I gotta do it was like the last like two seconds and I don't need that stress in my life Epona, the MVP. Hey. Bitch, let's go. The fuck you waiting on a goddamn invitation? Much better. Last time I did this, I got caught up on those fences. Nothing more stressful than the timer noise when you're about to run out of time. Yeah, no shit. Fucking dings every other second. But again, I got like 40 seconds to spare here. Or 30, rather. So, I'm gonna take my time and, you know what I'm saying, get my horse ready to... The horse ready to giddy up. It's important to get it right, so. Bruh, work with me, dude, before I fucking put you down. It's close enough. Yeah, that happened too last time. He's like, oh, this item don't work here. I was like, I got one second left. What do you mean? I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's domain froze over. These balls are so delicious. Tonight, I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. These eye drops are for making big runs. Eye drops? <laughs> Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. Alright, so this is the tough one. I need every second I can spare on this. They give you four minutes, but... You need all four. Alright, the world's finest eye drops.
Yo, I swear to God, I'm gonna put this fucking horse down. Shotgun I can borrow. I can do this in a straight line? Nope, wrong way. You got like two minutes to get this shit done. That. <sighs> I remember missing that fucking jump like six times on the last run. Like I, I'm, I'm not even stressed out about how much time I actually have. I'm stressed out about all the shit that I did wrong in the last run. Can't keep playing fast and loose like that, Otis. As long as there ain't no fuckery with this. Yeah, we got this. Whew! Mysterious forces knock me back down to the bottom. said you brought the eye drops I'm so relieved I'm gonna use them right now my man Begaron's back he's stimulated and working great now we can get back to the blade business I know right If that, just after a few days. No problem. One. Two.
three. Yo, while we wait, let's get the big old show some love. Let's get us up to 30 followers. You boy just trying to creep on over to affiliate. Alright, that's our sixth day. Trade it for the claim check. And now we can start whooping ass. You hand it in the claim check and you get the bigger on sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. Fucking right. Let's get some heavy equipment going. Um, this can go here. That needs to go there for now. Yeah, we got everything we wanted to get done done here. Love to test this shit on you. Give me a bit. Tell me about the fire. Yep, I like it. I'm full of shits out here purring and shit. Get ourselves a quick refill on fairies. for the crocodiles, I know, right? Alright, y'all, that brings us into the 